So collaboration, I feel, plays such an important role because we are a district that is so child-centered. There are certain kinds of higher order thinking that only really express themselves when we're talking to each other. When one student is trying to teach another student what they've learned, when two students are debating an issue that's important or meaningful to them. Our classrooms, our tables, everything incorporates for them to be working together. It might be, you know, for this activity, we need smaller groups so that we can really zero in on these specific needs. Or it might be, you know what, I'm gonna clump all this furniture together and we're gonna have one big dining room table. And we're gonna be more of a unit as a whole class or, you know, it divided in half and have bigger, more discussions and allow more people to, to be involved in hearing others and what they think. They're learning from each other. And that's what I always tell them, it's not only me, it's also your classmates that you can learn from. So by creating as many opportunities as possible for students to talk about what they're learning, you gain a valuable source of insight over what they're able to recall and how well they understand the material that can then be applied to again make even more targeted decisions about what students need to learn next. I want to show you guys too how you can say it as well. So when we read, we read left to right, okay? So the same thing we're going to read, the numbers left to right. Oh, can you say that again? Four six is greater than one six. Excellent. Four six is greater than one six. And I like how you...